me and my kicks, me and my kicks, me and my, me and my, me and my kicks, me and my kicks, me and my kicks, me and my, me and my kicks. Hey guys, it's your favorite YouTuber, me and my kicks. And if you're watching this video, I finally achieved one of my goals that I set out to have a couple of years back. One of the first things that I wanted to do was go back to college and achieve my master's. And I did that. Recently, this past Saturday, I graduated from Northern Illinois University in DeKalb, Illinois with my master's of science and management information systems. And I gotta tell you, man, it was definitely a great day for me. A great, long, arduous two years that I've overcome. And I was finally able to get that degree. But since I just graduated, you already know with a little bit of more free time on my hands, you know I had to go do a random mall vlog, man. So stay tuned. As always, I wanna thank you guys for watching this video today. I really do appreciate it. Smash that like button if you like this video. Also comment down below what's the best shoe you've seen in this video. If you wanna congratulate me for getting my masters, you can do that as well. Also, man, if you aren't subscribed to my channel, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button, takes nothing but a couple seconds, and you'll be notified on when I drop future videos. And also, follow me on Snapchat, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Facebook, and I got like all my graduation pictures there. If you wanna check it out, like a couple pictures, comment on a couple pictures, you can do that as well. Just go on IG, go on Snapchat, Facebook, me and my kicks on all forms of social media. But now enough talking, let's get into this vlog. This is a great colorway in the um, Nike Air Max Plus Vapor Max joints. This is definitely a nice little shoe for the summer. Got that pink to that blue gradient. Got a little bit of purple up top. I like these, these not bad at all. Here's another uh, decent little colorway in the Air Max Vapor Max Plus. Got like a black pink gradient type thing going on. But overall, these not bad. Here goes some uh, Air Max 97s made out to Dallas. Exactly what team, I do not know, but not a bad colorway. I like this green also and this green like upper right here. Pretty decent. Here go this Nike Air Max Plus. They got like a foam posit upper. Pretty decent. Nice little gradient translucent upper. Pretty decent. Here's some more Air Max 97s that's made after Dallas. This kind of remind me of uh, Captain America. Pretty decent. And it looks like these stars right here is like 3M. So they flash in the light. And they got some Air Max 97s with that little foam posit type upper that match these Air Max Pluses. Let me see, side to side, yeah, they like, the, they some type of pack. I don't know exactly what's the name of this pack, but I like these 97s better than the MX Pluses, though. Got more color to it. I don't know if I ever missed this, but they got this yellow and black MX Vapor Max Plus. It's pretty decent. Got a nice little translucent sole, white to the black. They should have just kept this all black, though, in my opinion. 190, not bad. They going a little bit too crazy with these Nike Zoom 2Ks. They got this colorway, they got that colorway, little Lakers colorway. A white, black, and gray colorway, they're going crazy. I'm, I haven't seen this personally on anybody's feet, but I'm not really a big fan of the silhouette. I also forgot they got an all black with a little bit of silver in the back version right here. Got this Air Force One High made out the Atlanta. Got like a little fire symbol in the back. ATL hits right here. Overall, these okay. I wouldn't buy them, but they're not too bad. It's a nice little Nike blazer right here. Got little patches that say Nike all over the shoe. I haven't had a blazer in a long time. But these, these not too bad. What's the retail? Um, 85, 95. That's not a bad price for these. They go to Air Max 95 mint joints. These recently released. These not bad. I'd rather get the green ones, the M uh, neon greens instead, but it's not a bad alternative. This is a weird new flavor in the uh, NMDs. Got all types of color everywhere. Got a little red in the back, white in the front, white over here, black miso. Not bad at all. I wouldn't get them personally, but these are not too bad. They got some Beavis and Butthead Adidas. I never seen these before. They got, I think this Butthead, and I'm, I'm guessing on the other shoe is Beavis. Not that bad. And what else they got? Let me see. They got another Beavis and Butthead shoe. Let me get that. Well, Beavis and Butthead all over the shoe. Put it on the Stan Smith, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. It's not bad though. How much they want? 70? It's not a bad price if you like Beavis and Butthead. They go to Dame 5 um, Black Panther joints. And hand, these not bad. They got the little uh, texture that's on the Black Panther suit up front. Got a little purple in the back. And like they got the Black Panther logo on the tongue. Not bad, what they want, 125? Just like one of the better Dame 5 colorways in my opinion. And they also got the Harden 3 Iron Mans. 
I'm not a big fan of Harden 3, so I pass on these. Got the Iron Man logo right there. Or the, actually, Iron Man Harden logo right there. They want 150 for these. Got that boost. I personally want the T-Mac Nick Furies. I don't see them here, though. When these first came out, I thought these was going to be a decent little shoe. I forgot the name of these Jordans, but these trash, man. Like, they got all the colors. They got the red and black. Got the gold or the khaki and white. Got the white and black. Got the white or off-white with a little bit of red. They got a tan and white. They going crazy with the colors, but these just sitting there. It looks like the um, whole theme of this Jordan store today is the Air Jordan 1s. Got the white, black, and the yellow ones. Got the whole little like skew and all that on the side. That's pretty decent. Got the black and red ones. And they got some more black and gold ones. The colorway on these six rings is crazy. This is a nice little summer color. I don't know what's the occasion for them, but these not bad. Kind of remind me of a Fresh Prince type of feel. They still got the Crimson Tints here too. They got the PSG ones. Got the, what, the Couture ones. Got the Orlando Tins. Just a lot of the shoes that just been chilling. Still got the Mocha 3s. Just overall, just a lot of stuff that's been chilling. They also got these Westbrooks over here. These came out during the Easter, I think. It's not a bad colorway in the Westbrook's though. I haven't seen this colorway in the um, Nike Air Max Vapor Max Plus. Got like an orange bottom with a navy top. That's not bad. Pretty decent. I never seen this uh, little pattern on the Nike Cortez. It's pretty decent. Light pink with a little bit of white. Got the white with the black. I love I love to run. I hate to run. Story of my life. This is an interesting uh, Nike Air Force One high. This reminds me of the uh, Seattle Mariners. Got that navy with the like teal green pretty decent got that white midsole it's not a bad colorway at all these are pg3s recently released these are pay homage to his, either his auntie or his mother one of the two nice little colors purple lilac purple with the navy and like the materials on this is like way different than regular pgs but i like this i like this like little spin on them it's not bad they got these game of thrones uh, ultra boost right here i never seen the movie or the tv show game of thrones but Hey, when they drop these, I definitely had to have them. I was hoping I can get these for a deal, but like these selling like hotcakes, so I'm gonna go ahead and see if they got my size and grab them. Here's a nice, clean, all white type colorway for the uh, Nike Air Max 720. But I think these gonna like, these gonna like getting dirty real fast. Like this mesh upper is not good. Like the moment you start wearing these like regularly, it's gonna either start turning yellow or start getting dirty. Okay, Nike, y'all going a little bit crazy with these Nike Air Max Vapor Max Pluses. I like this colorway right here. Got the black, look light gray with the clear bottom. Then like something going on with this little Nike sign right here. I like it overall though, it's pretty decent. These Nike Air Max 1s is pretty decent. These remind me of like something you could wear with a Cubs jersey or like a, man, I, I'm really just thinking of a Cubs jersey. This goes perfect with it. That perfect royal blue on there too. It's a nice pair. Wow, they got a fear of God sitting. They got these uh, I forgot what the name of these is. I don't know if these are moccasin joints or what, but these kind of like remind me of the uh, Nike Air Yeezy 750, but they just got these sitting. Retail 170, that's not bad. I'm not really a big fan of these though. Man, they got all the shoes just sitting over here. They got these, uh, the second iteration of the basketball shoes that self-tie up. Retail 350, and that's what they charging over here, but I never thought I'd see these sit, but I had a feeling they was gonna sit eventually though. They got two pairs up here so I'm sure they got a pretty decent size run and here go the Air Jordan 33 lows I'm I'm a pretty big fan of the uh, black and the white ones like I like the, the lows better than the highs but I wouldn't get these unless they was like on super sale like a hundred bucks maybe 80 bucks I'll get a pair got the T-Mac 1 Nick Fury Got like that Avengers symbol right here. Now these I definitely got to get with that icy outsole. This is one of the uh, better T-Mac retros that they gave us with a decent little colorway. Here go the Thor joints. In my opinion, I'm not really a fan of these. Like I like the fact they got boost, but like this whole 
Like the design is kind of trash. Another look at the dames. I know on the back it say Wakanda. I tweaked on that one. I should have showed y'all that the last time, but on the back it say Wakanda. On the back of the uh, Hardens it say Stark Industries. So I'm just over here. I want to show y'all those extra little tidbits since I'm over here. I don't know the name of this model, but this is the um, Captain Marvel version made for um, Candace Parker. These okay. These like the weakest out the pack in my opinion. And then the second weakest is these things right here. The next level, the uh, was that Captain America joints? I'm not really a fan at all. I like the sole though. So pretty decent. They go to Captain Gowns up close. I'm personally not a fan. I do have the Captain Gown 11s. I reviewed that. I put that up above if you want to check it out. But like in my opinion, they released way too many all black 13s recently. But I don't like this like patent leather upper. And the suede is like okay. So I definitely pass on these. They go that like Charles Barkley slash 270 collaboration. They made these um, for the NBA draft. That's why you see that one, two, three. Also, I got that little question mark right there. A little something, something that the NBA wanted to put together. It's not too bad. I like the colorway on the shoe. Looks like I found another pack. They have like a black, purplish, like bluish type pack. Mixed with a little pink. They got the Vapor Max, the 720s, and they got the Nike Air Max Vapor Plus. So. They're going crazy with the packs this summer. All right, guys, that is the end of the vlog. What did you guys think? What was the best shoe you've seen in this video? Comment that down below and we can chop it up in the comment section. Also, once again, if you aren't following me on all forms of social media, go ahead and take a couple seconds out your day to do that right now. Add me on Facebook, Snapchat, IG. I'm on all forms of social media. And man, it finally feels good to take my tassel and move it from the right back over to the left side, man, because it has been a long journey i can't tell you man like just like this past couple weeks i was checking blackboard like every day just making sure my grades updated and they was on point so i can get on up out of school man being in college working and also doing this youtube stuff it is a lot of hard work but my subscribers the people who comment on my videos just show me love in general that stuff really you know keeps me going and i really appreciate all my subscribers i really appreciate anyone that watches my videos i really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart it isn't me and my kicks without you guys you know just watching my stuff every day and you know helping me out however way you can man i was gonna get those game of thrones ultra boosts the black and red ones but they did not have it in my size and i don't want to pay over retail for them so hopefully i can get those shoes in my size one day i'm praying on it but instead of telling you guys peace i'm gonna go ahead and leave you off with my graduation shoes you definitely gonna like these roll to the clip here go the shoe that i'm wearing for graduation real nice classic dress shoe as you can see it's a christian lebowden red bottom and as far as like the price i didn't pay that price you know i'll be getting stuff for the deals but overall man definitely a great shoe glad i got it for my graduation hold on get a little pick of that inside decent